So let's talk summer travel, namely cruises. Travel experts say that projections are up, actually, and the cruise industry is becoming more optimistic. So here to talk about some hot new deals happening now, Gabe Saglier from Travel Zoo. Good morning to you. Great to see you. It's my pleasure to have you in. <laughs> yes, I know. We've seen each other virtually, but uh, you look even better in person, I have to oh, say, folks. All right. Bill's I'll take it. He doesn't have great eyesight. Uh, so... <laughs> the, the, the cruise industry is starting to come back. Like, it's been way down for a while. We have well, good I think indicators. it's safe to say the cruise industry was sort of the poster child for some of the early mishaps so when it came to travel uh, and COVID, right? I mean, we, yeah. we were just hearing a lot of these stories about ships staying out at sea and, uh, and sort of the pervasive circulation of the virus on board these ships. So that became sort of uh, the story at the very beginning. Here's the reality of, uh, of the situation. The, the industry is feeling very optimistic. It's in the last couple of months, as travel in general has blossomed, we're seeing some... What we call some green shoots in the cruise industry and some of the big players like the Royal Caribbean Norwegian anticipating that by the end of this year we could be at sort of capacity levels as far as the number of people on these ships that look very much like 2019 pre-pandemic. Okay. Um, you've got the core cruiser who's coming back and then you've got the new to cruise folks who are now looking at it as a new thing to do which we're looking for new sort of experiences post-pandemic and it's also a value proposition when it comes to travel in general. Normal or just better? Are we getting close? We're getting close to normal. Well, I, I, the, the bigger uh, cruise lines, for example, at the end of the first quarter, were reporting they were at about 60, 65 percent of uh, pre-pandemic levels. By okay. the end of Q2, they're anticipating 75 to 80 percent. So, yeah, by the okay. end of the year, they're anticipating close to 100 percent. So, back to the kinds of numbers we were seeing pre-pandemic. Right. My thought is that really 2023 to 2024 is when we'll be back at, at a dependable uh, sort of uh, you know when, it, when it, a load factor, as, as, as we like to call it. But it's those. That that's starting to surge pretty quickly here, so it's giving some optimism to the industry. So if we're on the fence, if people are trying to figure out if they're ready to do this, are there some tips we should look for, some things that we should be exploring, or just things to help us pick the right cruise? Well, there's no doubt that COVID has brought in some protocols that did not exist before. So a lot of folks who are new to cruise are wondering, you know, what's new? There is a lot more touchless technology. Uh, they have been reducing capacity on the ships, but as we just talked about, that's going to change here over the next couple of months. Um, and there's just some pretty rigorous testing. I mean, when you compare it to travel by train, by plane, by car, I mean, there's more testing on these cruise ships uh, when you go from Port Port of call to port of call that makes uh, people who are cruising these days feel pretty good about being on board. So these avid okay. cruisers are doing this now, and those folks who are looking for an alternative are starting to look at this as a, certainly as a viable option because things are certainly feeling safer and more attractive overall. What are some of the deals we should look for or some of the types of cruises that we should be focused on if we're ready to get back? Into? Well, when we're doing, we, we surveyed folks uh, about cruising. Destination still uh, prevails. Whether it's a destination you know and love uh, or it's a destination that is new to you, that's uh, number one. The ultra all-inclusive idea. The fact is you want to get on board. You don't want to worry about anything else. Those are the types of cruises that are surging. River cruises, which are, are much more intimate a way to go. And you can do them here in the U.S., on the Ohio River, the Lower Mississippi, the Columbia River, or, of course, in Europe. That's an industry that surging. We're seeing more of these cruise vessels. We're talking about 20 to 80, maybe a couple hundred folks hmm. uh, on board. So with these more intimate uh, settings, you're reaching ports of call that the bigger ships can't reach. Again, new experiences, uh, and that's a way that the industry is sort of satisfying that uh, pretty nicely. And a couple of, of I guess less known maybe places or more exotic places. People are checking out Alaska. Yeah, well, Alaska is always going to be hot. Okay. Uh, if you can get to a, a, so July August will be the sort of the pricier uh, propositions for Alaska cruises. Uh, the Princess Cruise Line has several ships doing these cruises from six ninety nine to nine ninety nine for seven night cruises for balcony cabins. So that's a fantastic price there. That lower price point six ninety nine you'll find later in the season, August into September. Still gorgeous out there. Uh, the American River Cruise industry. If that's something to look for, okay? So there's a company called American Queen Voyages that does, uh, they, they do these sort of refurbished paddle, uh, uh, you know, pa wheel, wheel paddle boats, yeah. uh, but very modern. Uh, you can do the Lower Mississippi. You can do the uh, Ohio River. You can do, if you want to do the Northwest, the Columbia River uh, and follow the Lewis and Clark Trail there. But these very curated sort of, uh, hi you know, you get these history lessons on board. Hey, tell uh, me, great I, I got to leave it there. They can follow you on social yeah. media. Yeah, yeah. You got a wrap. Travels tell me. I got to go. But where do we find you? Travelzoo.com, and uh, we're updating these cruise deals on a regular basis, my friend. I appreciate you coming in. Great to see you. Thank you very much. Time to go cruising, guys.